So the key is, though, these are the laws, these laws that are soul-based about the law of divine love or the law, remember this one was the law of natural love, the laws that are, that are soul-based are the ones that cause any of your unhappiness if you break them. Whereas the metaphysical and physical laws don't cause much or any unhappiness so as much if you break them, unless you break them in a way that creates a soul-based law being broken as well. So, for example, with the law of gravity, if I break the law of gravity and it's an accident, there is very little effect on me, actually, personally, um, in terms of uh, my personal harm. I'll die, and while people might say that's a big effect, I'm saying that's a little effect. Um, you'll pass and you'll be in the same condition you were before you passed and you'll have a spirit body that you can utilise, the same as you could utilise your physical body and, uh, and you'll also have uh, available to you many other um, things uh, that you don't have available here on earth uh, in terms of constraints. So you'll have, for example, the ability to move from place to place with your thoughts, for example, that you didn't have when you were here on earth. And so just physically breaking the physical law is not a major drama, really, unless it's purposeful. Because when it's purposeful, you didn't only break the physical law, you broke also a soul-based law. And that is a very, very different process from a soul-based perspective of what's going to happen to you in the future. And there will be a law of compensation requirement upon that law, uh, of that law upon your soul. So, so the beauty of all of God's laws is if you focus on the ones that cause you the most unhappiness, you can become happy very rapidly. But if you focus on the laws that are physical or metaphysical, you will not be happy very rapidly. Does that make sense? <laughs>